Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make the window puff stitch. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, the single crochet stitch, the double crochet stitch, the puff stitch, the double crochet V stitch, and be familiar with the fur stitch. I have videos on all of those and I will have them listed down below. Starting from the very beginning making chains, you're going to make chains in the multiple of 6 plus 1. I have already made 25 chains on my hook. To start row 1, make 1 single crochet into the second chain from your hook. Now you're simply going to make 1 single crochet into each chain across. So that's one single crochet into the second chain and then one single crochet into each chain across for row one. To start row two, make five chains. Make one double crochet into the first stitch. Now we're going to start our sequence. Skip two stitches and then we're gonna make a four yarn over puff into the next stitch. So that's one, two, three, and four. Take that through all of the loops to make that puff, make a chain to secure that puff. Now we're going to skip two stitches and then into this next one we're going to make a double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Now we're going to start alternating between these two stitches. Skip two stitches, make a four yarn over puff into the next one. Make a chain to secure that puff. Skip two stitches, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet all into that same stitch. Skip two stitches into this next one, four yarn over puff. Make a chain to secure it, skip two stitches into this next one, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. All into that same stitch together. Skip two stitches into this next one, four yarn over puff. Make a chain to secure it. When you get to the end of your row, skip one stitch into this last stitch of the row. Make two double crochet into that stitch to complete row two. And that's how row two is looking. To start row three, make one chain. So row three is going to be an all single crochet row. Into each of the first two stitches, make one single crochet. Now into the top of this previous puff stitch, make one single crochet. Now this is a chain from that puff, and then this is going to be that double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So you're going to skip this chain, and then into this chain space of this previous V stitch, you're going to make five single crochet into this space. Skip over to the top of this previous puff, make one single crochet into that stitch. Skip over to this next chain space from this V stitch and make five single crochet into that space. So you can see how this sequence is going to go. And I did want to let you guys know that depending on how many chains you make in this row to begin, you can end this row on a V stitch or a puff stitch. 
So then you would do these two single crochet like we had done, but you would start with the five in the V-stitch instead of this puff, and then it would just continue like we've been doing. So we're gonna move over to the top of this puff and we're gonna make a single crochet into that stitch. Moving over to this next V-stitch, you're gonna make five single crochet into that chain space. Moving over to this puff, one single crochet. And then at the end of this row, we have a stitch and some chains. So we're gonna be treating this as over here, like we had two stitches to work into at the beginning. We're gonna treat this the same. We're gonna work one single crochet into that stitch and then one single crochet into those chains at the end of this row to complete row three. And that's how row three is looking. You would now alternate between rows two and three for however long you want your project. And that is gonna be how to make the window puff stitch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more from me. You can follow me on all social media at Crochet Me Lovely, all one word. Please leave me any feedback down below for future videos and tutorials that you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for being here and have a great day.